ready to go out But then I thought, man, what's the point? The arrows feel blind, tears are running fast Still apathy is all I've got And I know, and I know it's hard to keep up sometimes And I know, and I know I just Good morning, I've just finished my warm up, done my drills, my strides and I'm here in one of my favourite places to run. It's not ideal for doing a session, but what I'm going to try and do today is um, some longish, steady efforts with very short recovery and short, sharp efforts afterwards. So the plan is to do four times. You see those trees just to the right over there? That's just under halfway of the effort. So I'm going to start over that way, come down. It's probably going to be like a minute and a half, something like that of effort. And then I'm going to get to here, I'm going to have a 20 second recovery, turn around and then go quite fast up to pretty much just before those trees again, back and once more. So we do one long, two short with short recoveries. I'm going to do about four of those if I can. Time's a bit short, plus my Achilles is quite sore, so I'm going to have to see how it goes. I might have to cut it short. I just want to get out and do something because I haven't done any running since Saturday's track session. So let's get on with the session. Okay, that first one fell quite hard. So the long effort was a minute 20. I wasn't pushing too hard, but I was keeping it quite strong. It's quite uneven, this ground, so it's quite tricky to keep a nice fluid rhythm going. And I kept it to about 20 seconds recovery, did the short effort, turned around, jogged, and did the other one again. I haven't got time anyway, plus not really feeling it today. So I'm gonna do two more sets. Rather than four, I'm gonna do two more, which is three quarters. So let's give that a go. As the sun goes down and shadows fill the town Give me a reason, a reason The stars around looks like they're falling down They're in collision, that's my reason Ten seconds. So I finished the session, I'm just starting to jog back and I've realised I've forgotten something. 
at the top of the hill, my jacket. Great, I've got to go and get that now. Okay, got it. Let's try again. Okay, so that was a bit of a fail session. Mostly down to lack of time. But uh, I got three, got three of the four sets in, so that's all right. So I guess you're not gonna be surprised to hear that my Achilles is still really sore. Um, it held out, just held out for the session, but it's not good. So yesterday I went swimming. It's the first time I've been swimming since February. Actually, I had a look at my diary and the last time I swam was the 3rd of February. Obviously the pools have been closed until recently. Apparently it was a quiet session. I had four people in my lane before I even got in. So there was five of us, which to me isn't quiet. That's, I would argue, busy on a normal, on a non-pandemic day. Anyway, did 50 lengths, which is 1.25K. My arms felt really heavy, but it was good to get in again. It helps loosen you up. Swimming, I find, is probably the best, for me, swimming's probably one of the best cross-training exercises you can do. The other interesting thing, on Monday, was the one year anniversary of the Ineos 159 challenge. I'm not sure if any of you saw that, but you know, when Elliot Kipchoge ran a sub two hour marathon, whoops, <laughs> if you didn't see it, basically it was a project to try and run a sub two hour marathon. Not officially, but just using whatever means possible. And uh, he ran, I think his time was 159.40. So he was the first human in history to run 26.2 miles in under two hours. It wasn't an official time because it wasn't a race and it wasn't under race conditions, but it was still incredible. But um, the cool thing was, I actually uh, sort of was involved in that in some way. I was gonna do a vlog about it, but I haven't got any of the footage. I think it was around August, September time. I think it was August last year. James Fee asked for uh, some volunteers to uh, try out the um, formations that they used in the actual run itself. So I went down to Wales with a group of other athletes and we did uh, sort of, essentially we did 12, 400 meter reps at the, the sub two hour marathon pace. So it was about 68 seconds per 400. And we had to run in formation. It was really interesting. It was a great experience because we were doing it on a racetrack and we had, uh, we had like drones following us and we had uh, cameras following us along the side of the track. We had, we had to wear like heart rate monitors and earpieces and head cameras. And then we had to sort of do little surveys at the end of each rep to see how that felt. We tried two formations. And what was really cool about it was we, uh, we had to actually sign a, uh, uh, an agreement. So we had to actually sign an agreement that said that we won't talk about it because we were the first people, essentially first people in the world to try them, which is really cool. So even before Kipchoge tried them, we were trying them out. So that was quite cool. I, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping that there's still some drone footage and I can get hold of it. If there is, I'd love to make a little video about it, go into more detail. Anyway, that was really cool. So on Monday, Elliot Kipchoge ran this little project where he wanted as many people in the world as possible to run and they wanted to try and run 26,000 miles and he had to pledge to run some miles and I had actually pledged to run two miles but I couldn't run on Monday I just my Achilles was sore and just didn't have time and everything so I couldn't do it which was a shame I was only going to do two miles because I knew my Achilles would be sore hopefully I can get some of that drone footage and make a little compilation video of it right I'm really late now so it's gonna jog the rest of this jog back to the car try and have a quick shower and get to work I'm running really late so uh, see you in the next session
Good morning, today is Sunday the 18th of October. I am actually at Longley at the moment and today I'm gonna to do a hill session. The plan is to do a hill session and I'll be honest, my Achilles is really not playing ball today. It's been really bad, well, pretty much since I started this challenge. If I wasn't trying to run a sub five minute mile, I probably would have rested today and I would have been focused on trying to get my Achilles better. But because I've only got two weeks left, I'm just gonna to have to take a chance and push it. One of the lessons I've learned over these years is to listen to your body. And I should really be listening to my body now because it's, there's a high risk that I'm gonna injure myself today. But I'm gonna take a chance and do this hill session. It's actually 10 a.m. now and I was planning to finish by now. Today was just a bit of a nightmare. I got up late and everything went wrong. I needed to get diesel and all sorts of things. So, so I'm gonna start the hill session now. Hopefully there won't be too many people because it can be a bit crowded as there are families walking down because they take up the whole path. So the plan is I'm going to do, I'm thinking four sets of a longish rep from basically here up as far as you can see where that, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big tree right as far as you can see. It's really dark in the distance to there. And then it kind of flattens out a little bit. So I want to go along there for a while. I'm, I'm aiming for like something like um, a minute to a minute 20, similar to what I did the other day, but it's a hill. And as it gets, as it gets flat, I want to sort of keep my, effort hard but, but accelerate the pace slightly so this is up and as it gets flat I want to keep a similar effort but just speed up so I'm learning to sort of run fast on tired legs. I'm going to get to the end of that then I'm going to turn around jog back somewhere and do sort of a 15-20 second effort and then jog back and do that again so it's sort of very similar to what I did the other day hopefully I'll do four of these this time and this is going to be harder so it's all about short recoveries running fast when tired and hill which is strength and sort of I've uh, got to work on my posture and things like that. That's the goal. Got a tip for you here, actually. If you um, if you want to run a PB or the fastest you've ever run in your life, you just head a couple hundred meters this way, hop over about two 10 foot fences, and you'll either be in the tiger or lion enclosure, and you'll definitely run the fastest you've ever run. So uh, probably wouldn't try that, actually, to be honest. Or if you want to do it the sensible way, you could drive down here, pay to go in and drive around the safari which is over this way basically you've got sort of from here across to here you've got the drive through safari which probably most of these cars are going to today you've got lions and tigers and all sorts of things there it's really good let's get on with the session i've got a feeling that i cannot explain you want something different But I don't want to change Slowly but surely You began to fade Things are finally changing And I was not afraid Now that you're gone It's like I don't have to pretend
that was a hard session. I'm pleased to finish that. Did all four sets, ran strong, felt pretty sick and heavy after the first rep, but I uh, kept it going. I ended up doing four sets of a bit further than I expected, but it was about a minute, and about a minute and five seconds. I flattened slightly, and then towards the end it goes up again. So it's quite a drag. I averaged about a minute and three to a minute and five seconds. Watch was playing up for some reason on the second two sets, but pretty sure it was the same. Jogged back down to the tree just there, did a sprint up. That was about 15 seconds each. So sprinted up, jogged back, sprint up, and that was a set. And then I had like 30 seconds to a minute, just sort of walking around up here. Then walked and jogged slowly back to the bottom. Three to four minute recovery between sets. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. Pleased with that. I've got to go back to the bottom now to get my stuff. Um, and then I'm just going to walk up most of this hill. Uh, see if I can find any nice views. There's a nice view of Longleat. I'm going to try and get in a second. If no one's there. Um, and then we'll just do a cool down and head home. That's the cool down and stretching done. I'm pretty pleased with that session today. That concludes week seven of training. Uh, next week is week eight, and that will be the last week of training. And the following week, I'm planning to try to actually do the mile time trial. So that will be a taper week. This is a beautiful woodland near where I've parked. It's really nice for running around, so um, I might come back here in the future and do a virtual run. I'm glad I got here early because the car park is absolutely rammed. When I arrived it was about a quarter full, now it's, there's people queuing to go inside. Anyway, so thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time, bye!